Well, Antoinette, everyone moving around the city needs to know that there's going to be these issues in place until Labor Day as crews continue to work to take down this garage in the heart of downtown. I gave myself extra time, but I did not give myself extra time for this construction, so that's my new uh, obstacle right now. It's an obstacle Boston commuters will be dealing with for weeks as the demolition of the government center parking garage brings detours and closures to downtown. It's a lot harder to get places. I'll be more prepared tomorrow, I guess. Well, we'll let you get going there. If, get... I, if, if I don't get fired from being too late today. The work requiring the section of Congress Street that goes under the garage to close as nearby Sudbury Street transforms from a one-way into a two-way road. Wait, you just kind of like cut over here because of that. How much time did you give yourself? A half hour extra. The demolition resuming for the first time since worker Peter Monsini was killed back in March when the floor of the garage buckled underneath the construction vehicle he was working in. The project also delayed last month when green and orange line service was suspended after crews identified a column that was compromised from years of water damage that was unrelated to the work at the garage. And while the project's developers say subway service shouldn't be impacted by this latest work, those detours will likely mean longer commutes for those driving, biking, and walking through Labor Day. I heard it on the radio, and I thought, oh, that must be my commute, and sure enough, it is. So, <laughs> unfortunately, I need to go because I actually now have a longer walk. Now, the company overseeing this demolition says they've implemented new safety measures since the death of Peter Monsini, including not working at night and having a full-time resident engineer on site. It is also worth noting the Haymarket station will remain open during all this work. Reporting live in Boston, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center.